The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade late last month and the temporary restraining order blocking Kentucky's abortion bans has left some un nonprofits unsure about the guidance they can provide their clients. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson is speaking with the domestic violence nonprofit about how that Supreme Court decision has impacted them and their clients. Lexington's Greenhouse 17 is a nonprofit that just celebrated its 17th year working to end domestic violence across Kentucky. Associate Director Diane Fleet explains that intimate partner abuse has many forms. The domestic violence can look so differently family to family and person to person, and we really define it in terms of power and control. So I think a lot of folks get really stuck on physical violence, but really look at dynamics of control. The overturning of Roe v. Wade is a concern of Greenhouse. Diane explains that many of the nonprofit and its partners have a lot of thoughts and beliefs around Roe v. Wade, but she says they do know that abuse often revolves around children and sexual violence, including rape. So the ramifications of those two things, of making it difficult for a person to leave a situation, to be entangled or connected to a person for 18 plus years of their life, to be constantly sort of brought into court. And we, and we certainly understand that there are rights for both parents to be connected in a relationship but when you have an abusive partner who's not really playing by the rules fairly and are using their children as a power tactic as opposed to definitely just concerns about the children and wanting to be a part of their life, we have real concerns about what that is going to do in the long term in these families. For women that have been impacted by sexual violence, they say that speaking about Roe v. Wade's overturning has been a point of uncertainty for them. We are there for the survivor and their family, and we just share options. So whatever that individual feels they need to stay safe and to live independently, that's what we're here for. We're not really here to decide this is a good decision or this is a bad decision. We just want to give you the options. Diane says if abortions are permanently banned in Kentucky, she expects an uptick in other resources. So if a person is struggling struggling emotionally, if a person is dealing with depression or anxiety, it is our responsibility and goal to be able to kind of support and advocate them wherever they are right at that moment. No matter what happens, this nonprofit's goal is to provide their clients care and support. In Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.